a very special. Oh yes, it's Song of Praise. Song of Praise, the most vilified and hated radio feature ever. <laughs> Coughing in its death throes, but it's still got some life in it. Yeah, the old dog. And it's a very special Song of Praise this morning because it's a kind of live, lewd possibly, and dangerous Song of Praise. One man, one insane individual, Mark Watson, the comedian, novelist, humanitarian, has decided for comic relief to raise as much money as possible to go down to a a theatre in London, the Pleasance Theatre, Pleasance Courtyard, and do a 25-hour stand-up gig, essentially. I can't imagine he'll be standing up throughout it. He's, I think he's been at it for about nine hours. We, we've, we've sneakily been listening in to him as he talks about famous guests like Jon Snow and Davina McCall being uh, somebody who's l- watching and listening and tweeting. You can go on the rednoseday.com, I think, and watch on the website. Watch him have a breakdown. But we are going to go live to his show now. Speaking of Davina... I'm about to put up this fader, right? Now, if you're listening in the Pleasance Courtyard, especially you, Mark, as Davina might say, please do not swear, because this is a live UK radio broadcast to the world. If I put that microphone up now, can we hear Mr. Mark Watson? Yes, Sean, you can. Listen to that. Oh, I've never heard Hello, applause mate. like that any of my gigs. I, no, well, you should make them a bit longer, mate. <laughs> how, how many hours in are you? We're not sure, but we believe... <laughs> of course, I'm lying. Some people are sure. It's about nine hours and 20 minutes that I've been on stage. <laughs> I've been on, <laughs> that I've been on stage? It all went a bit high then. Did um, you just, I'm sorry, did you just cruelly mock my sleep yes, deprived voice, Keevney? I, I did, I apologise. Mark Watson. <laughs> Can't really do his voice. Sorry, Sean, what are you saying? Um, well, actually, I'm going to be self aggrandizing. Are there any um, listeners to the Six Music Breakfast show in, in the audience? We've got at least, yeah, there are quite Small a number. Cabal. By quite a number, I mean a number, and by that number, I mean four, yes. <laughs> And, and what, so what's it been like uh, so far, you know? Are, are the audience allowed oh, to leave, sure or are they stuck in there with you? Almost nobody has left. The only people that are left were a policeman who wasn't enjoying it and had to watch hockey. Uh, <laughs> and um, a couple of people have left to go to places like Liverpool. I don't think anyone's left other than for work reasons. I've got about 150 people here who've been here for the whole thing. <gasps> yeah. That's, so there's a collective sense of insanity. I, yes, I would say from the reaction to that comment, yes, you've summed it up fairly well, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. And so what's happened so far? Have there been any highlights or is it, have you, have you phoned at the mic? It to say what hadn't happened so far. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, there's a couple of things which I would particularly like to point out. First of all, we've decided to organise an enormous flash mob hug at King's Cross Station. <gasps> and we're sort of in the process of doing that. Cool. So if you're listening, uh, we would like you to go to King's Cross Station at 11.45 this morning. And hug someone. That's, That's great. Eleven forty-five, King's Cross 11.45 Station. Eleven forty-five at King's Cross. Don't, everyone ought to try. For God's sake, hug. make sure that your watch is right because if you go and hug some complete stranger at eleven fifty-one yes. or something, it would it be is awkward. It's a precarious operation. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason we're doing that, Sean, is because two people here are in the middle of a twenty-five-hour hug, which will be a Guinness <laughs> World Record. So they've been in constant hugging contact all this time. Um, we're also building a house out of cake. So the other big thing we need is if you're listening at home and you could bake a sort of brick sized portion of cake and get it down to the Pleasance in Islington. That would be really good because when I say we're building a house out of cake we haven't done it very well so far. <laughs> Is it just a couple of slabs of cake leaning against each other it's at the moment? not quite a couple of slabs yet no. uh, <laughs> It's just one piece of cake Yes but the girl is sponsored to do it but she's got no way of doing it so to summarise I need everyone to either go to King's Cross and hug or please come here with cake or I also it's a long story but I also need about 3,000 helium balloons please. <laughs> are you going to reenact we- up by any chance sorry are you going to reenact up by any chance well possibly yeah. we need to get a lady off the ground using uh-huh. balloons this is only one of our options um, <laughs> Lauren Laverne your colleague has already tweeted about these balloons so yeah, if people could send us balloons okay. or cake. And if also, you know Zach Braff? Yes, yes, Zach Braff, yeah. I did interview him Sorry. once. Yeah. Basically, we, well, 
we, we've been trying to get to lure Zach Braff down here because we know he's in London I know Ooh. he listens to Six Music yeah. to keep abreast of cutting edge music um, <laughs> But we're struggling a bit with him. So, do you know Davina, Sean? I, I, I think that I, I could get a contact for her. Yeah, if you want, if you, you want to get her involved. Bad. So, I just, just, I'm starting. Just, just to the, summarise, the then. I go on, the more I feel like I need to see Davina. Right. Yeah. I, I, it sounds like that from the off-air uh, in, information I'm getting. But uh, well, we, but also, I, I, it's a shame you were listening off-air because I was openly saying all sorts about yeah. Lauren Laverne before that. But they were, they were positive things. I, I must say. <laughs> oh, by so, the way, Sean, yeah. I've got a man attached to me. I have to, I have to hug someone for an hour straight because someone <laughs> bribed a 60 quid. I've nearly finished that. Because that's the other thing. On the live stream, we're asking people to go online and ask us what stuff they'd like us to do. Right. And for the right price, we'll almost do anything. Emma Kennedy is already wheezing in a bucket on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Kennedy, she's, she, she's game for out, that woman. I've always said that. So... <laughs> In essence, we need yeah, cake. Yeah, you're not wrong so far. We need cake, we need balloons, uh, we need hugs at 11.45 at, at King's, King's Cross, Cross, and we need and donations. And we need, we need, and we need ce celebrities of any kind to raise morale. Yeah. Brilliant. And, well, yes, above all, you can go online. Yeah. I say above all. I'd <laughs> almost rather have Davina than money, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> I, I think, um, yeah, uh, you need, um, you need to, you can text seven treble... Zero five and, and text Mark. I don't even know which things I'm allowed to say about donating <laughs> or not. If you go on Red Nose Day's website, you'll soon work out how to donate money. Though. Well, no, listen, no. make sure everybody listening that they do that. If Zach Brass listening, if Davina McCall's listening, you must get in contact with us or Mark, and we'll make that happen. But what song are we going to play you for your song of praise closer? I've chosen one of my one of my favourite songs, but also a song which is sort of an ode. Sort of an ode to the um, uh, glorious pointlessness of life, which mm. is uh, what people are feeling in the room quite strongly now. So it's Road to Nowhere by Talking Heads. Well, turn it up in there, okay? Because this is for each and every one of you. You're doing a fantastic job. Stay in there. This fantastic endurance must continue. Uh, it sounds like it's a great kind of ins insanity down there. But thanks very much indeed, Mark, and God bless you. Thank you, Sean, and we look forward to the balloons, cake, and hugs. Thank we'll you. We'll send it all down to you. Thank you.